Mango bay, mango bay. Mango bay, 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 for the exclusive content, don't forget to join our Patreon at patreon.com slash mango bay. Mango, 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 mango bay. Mango bay podcast. How you doing? How are we doing? Welcome to the mango bay podcast. Your one shop stop, one stop shop, <laughs> one flop flop. One bop glop. One clap the For South Asian recklessness. South Asian brown we are recklessness. Two brown comedians were reckless best boys. brilliance, stupid brilliance over here. And we be fucking throwing off the thoughts and the jokes all the time. We are comedians here in New York City, here to deliver to you the finest in South Asian content. Sometimes it's a little bit over the top, we know. But it's a little fuck, reckless. But fuck you. Okay, <laughs> yeah, how about yeah. that? Sometimes we know it's over the top, but Hitler was a hot dude <laughs> whose balls I want to suck. Oh! Anyway. Um, we have Patreon stuff. Okay, Patreon stuff. It's, it's got to be said. It's got to be said. It's got to be, be said. said. Say it. Broaching the topic. I didn't think we were going to do it. Here it is. Patreon. Oh, we have a couple new Patreons. Oh, we do. Fucking yep. hit them up, dude. Hit them up. We've got a Kamala S. Oh, shit. Kamala, than, S. Kamala H, for That's sure. That's $5. Sorry, I shouldn't say how much they're giving. Oh, <laughs> Kamala, we love you. The Indian way to do Even it. though you have the name of the worst price vice president of all time. Oh. Um, Kamala Dick Cheney's okay. better than uh, Kamala uh, it's, They're right. That's tough. That's I tough. Mean, She's just Kamala, lame. She's just lame. She's, lame. she's not fun. Yeah. Uh, but if this was Kamala Harris. Um, <laughs> but she's, she spells hers K-M-L-A. Okay. Uh, then let's see. We've got... Rekha A. Okay. Rekha. 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 Um, coming in. Thank you very much for supporting Love you. Love us. You. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you so much. Then we've got Sarla. Okay. Sarla Kaur. Okay, that's a Punjabi. Oh, God. I see you. It's a Sikh, Sikh name. You. Thank you for fucking they with fucking Mango with Bay. Us, huh? We love you. Punjabis you sound hot already. But yeah, okay, Sarla. Sikh women are hot as hell. Sarla, always, dude. Okay. I super. see when they wear like, the, the Punjabi hijab. You know what yeah. the fucking, the, 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 you're, the you're showing hijab? Yep. That's hot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Pramila. Oh, Jesus. No last name. The women are coming through this week, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Listen, we love. Love you guys. The Femalis. Uh, we love you guys. Thank you for fucking with Mango Bay. You're the uh, best. Remember, you can, you can uh, write in if you need advice uh, about anything. So do that whenever you want. Mango Bay will fix your life. Uh, we do have a Patreon. Let's just get right into it. Dude, it's a lot of stuff, dude. We it's have a lot of stuff. Topical news clips. We have fucking uh, audio only bonus episodes. We yeah. have Mango Bites, which are yeah. little blooper uh, clips from that aren't only, they're only in the yeah. Patreon. Then yeah. we have fucking oh, topical yeah. news clips where we roast the news. Oh, we're about yeah. to have a live stream situation where we can watch the episode as we say it. Oh my God. So if we say gay retard, we can't undo it. It's just, can't undo it, it. it's just gay retarded. It just happens. We just retarded the gay. It's canon now. It's canon. Yeah. Speaking of gay retards, <laughs> Nick Cannon, of course. Um, just you guys remember it. to write us a review on Apple Podcasts, please. It does help us. We love you guys. We know you love us. Yes, help us out. Just help us out. Write us some. Write us a review on Apple Podcasts. It doesn't take much. Okay, We've subscribe got- to subscribe across platforms: Apple, Spotify, YouTube. And then Patreon. We've come a long way in our um, announcements. I think remember the first time we were doing these, we like, do you how do? Yeah. Money in bag. <laughs> it was <laughs> bad. It was bad. And it now- used to be like, look at me. I just did it. I just did it. <laughs> there would always be a pause after you get it yeah, just yeah. for like approval. And you're like, you said that all in Bengali. Yeah, that yeah. is literally unusable. You just said gay retard a bunch of times. <laughs> Plug the Patreon. <laughs> our jungly story of the week. A story, a little wild story from the week. A little craziness. That we start off with. Mm-hmm. Um, do we set one on? No. I have one, actually. I got one for you. Um, that I already told you the story of. Mm-hmm. Not now, but this is before. Okay. This is uh, a while ago. Um, uh, I, I uh, banged a girl. Banged her. So I got to say these things with more uh, gusto. Banged her. Banged a girl. Banged a girl. And we're hanging out. It's the first time we're banging. We're laying in the bed together. And um, as a courtesy... I'm like, because you don't know after you bang somebody if they feel weird about staying at your place or if they're, they want to go home or what the energy is. So you want to maybe put it out in the air just to you know solidify it, whatever mm-hmm. the game is. So I want to solidify it. Like, hey, listen, if you want to stay over, uh-huh. you can stay over. Uh, okay. Uh-huh. Right? Uh-huh. She heard, hey, bitch, leave my house now. 
with That's what you her. should have said explicitly. I did not. <laughs> I did not say that. I was literally like, hey, come through and just say it's okay. She heard what I said, took it 180, just took the complete... She's like, well, why would it was the kind of thing, right? Where it was like, well, why would you even bring it up then? Right, right. Of course, classic. And so now I'm, I'm uh, frequently in these moments. Right? I, I consider myself a quick mind. I consider myself a, a quick study. You know, uh, you know, it, it, things are happening. I can, I, but sometimes things are so um, insane that I end up just happy. I just completely lose my ability to connect thoughts, which makes me more culpable in that moment. Mm-hmm. And so she was like, oh, why would you say that? How would you say that? Why would you say that unless you really wanted me to leave? And I'd be, I was like, bah, 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 bah. and she's like, yeah. She got more fuel, you know? And I'd be given fuel. When a woman's angry, all my energy is giving fuel to her anger. Of course. Of course. Because I just, I, I'm just a gangly well, it, like, bitch. One, well, when they get angry, it immediately triggers a defense response. Right. You know? It's, it's like, I've had so many girlfriends where... They'll get angry, and then I'm just like, "Whoa, hold on, bitch!" Yeah. You know. Yeah. <laughs> then it's no longer about. Then it's no longer about me trying to figure out what I did wrong or how we can right. rectify a situation. It just puts me in pure defense mode, right. survival mode. Right. Hold on, bitch. And yeah. like, Why you call me a bitch? Fuck. Now yeah. it's a different. It's a whole different thing. You know. So it's like that's what I was doing. Now and listen, when you're naked on your side, you're not exactly in the best defensive maneuvering. You're like your dick's hanging out here. You're like, wait a second, you know. It's not exactly a place where you can. Uh, Construct coherent thoughts. Right. You're cummed out. Your half your IQ cummed went out. out. True. W- went out with the juice. All of your ambition to do anything <laughs> is gone. You know, you're not a person anymore. And that's when she strikes. You know. Yeah. Because she didn't come, obviously. So now she's like still rocked in high energy, high intensity. I'm she's ju- edging. I'm juiced out, right? And she's, she's got like blue eggs. <laughs> she's, got, she's, got, yeah. she's got robin eggs. Robin eggs. <laughs> You know, and I'm the little fucking blue jay with a fucking destroyed wing, just can't fly anymore. And she's like, <laughs> lunch. And so I'm, I'm literally like writhing, and I'm like, I don't know what's going on. She gets up, she's like fucking like, she's not just towering over me. I'm just like, ah. And this is a, this is a black girl. So let's just turn this fucking thing on hard mode immediately. Okay, right? yeah, definitely. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nightmare mode. <laughs> Nightmare mode. One death. Uh, all Ooh, your uh, one strike kills. All loots are gone. Yep. You know. So she straight up rebooted the game. Her eyes got red. She's like, this is still bad, 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 bad. And I'm, I, I, I felt really bad. The reason I'm telling the story is because I had nothing to say. I'm usually a person who knows how to navigate Yeah, you can things. usually respond, yeah. But, uh, like, the only way I could win is if I just pulled her dreads and be like, okay, physical. <laughs> I just got physical. <laughs> like, I literally am the worst person. I had to become the worst person ever to win this. I didn't do it, Yeah, obviously, Jesus Christ, because then I'd be dead. So it just, I, I would want to know what you would have done in that situation. Where uh, I would have, I would have, calmed, I would have, I would have like deescalated it, calmed right. it down, calmed the tone down and been like, but actually maybe it is a good idea now for you to leave. Ooh. Yeah. So you, so you give her some power and then take it back. I, I, I just be like, well, I understand what you're saying, but now I kind of just want to need to be alone. Sure. You know, that's the thing is I have, I'm somebody who also because of my size, and when I'm with a woman, I'm always trying to be smaller in a right. sense because I don't want ever want a woman to feel threatened by me. Sure. But at the same time, I've come to a point where I'm like, I need to draw the line sometimes and just be like, hey, I don't want to be around you right now. I, right. Have, to, I have to be OK sometimes with hurting somebody's feelings if they're yeah. fucking with my energy. You That's know what, what I mean? It's I'm, like if they're going to be an yeah. energy suck and they're going to be sitting there hovering in my room like a fucking gargoyle, just like <laughs> <laughs> eating yeah. bugs or whatever, you know, with their fucking buggy, buggy eating energy. It's like, no, I, I want you to leave. I couldn't use now, that. Now, that meta- would have re-escalated that, I couldn't use that metaphor for this black girl because she's from Ghana. And so, like, the idea of using a bug eating metaphor yeah. for her. Hey, why don't you go eat bugs over there? What? What? Okay. <laughs> so Listen, here's a peace offering. A roach. <laughs> One second. Yeah. Goes to corner of house. It's fresh. <laughs> you like them fresh, don't you? Huh? Uh, most bugs are eaten by Congo, I believe. I don't, I don't know, actually, if bug eating that happens and in not, Africa. Not, I think you want to know, actually. I, th- I think Southeast Asia is where I know that they eat bugs. Oh, yeah. 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 I don't know. Africa has a lot of it, too. Africa eats the most bugs, I think, in the world. Interesting. You know? Interesting. Don't let the Asian stereotypes fool you, man. That's they- true. <laughs> Hey, the Cambodians, right? They must be eating a lot of bugs. Jeez. <laughs> you just totally gave a real fact based on some insane idea of like what you think Asia is. <laughs> Why? I'm just saying it's like yeah. that's where I've seen bug eating happen. Sure, sure. And there's I, nothing wrong with eating bugs. Of like eat some fucking bugs. In, in fact, get down. It, there's there's stories about how like that would save a lot of our 
people like like the people should, if they learn how to eat bugs, yeah. we could help a lot of people be not starving. I know, I know, no. We all but, know bug. Yes, okay. We, we we've redeemed ourselves. Yes. Now we've been totally woke about it. <laughs> Great. Everybody eats bugs. Anyway, that's, technically, according to the <laughs> FDA, we all eat on an average of eight bugs a day. <laughs> yes. That's what's permissible in, in food. So we all eat I never, bugs. I never got that. Yeah. It's like, how dirty is your apartment that you're just eating bugs while you're sleeping? You know, like, anywhere. It's not there. It's where their food is produced. Some, oh, right. Yeah. Oh, where it's inside. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Anyway, point being, how I would have handled it, I would have tried to get her to leave at that point because I find that kind of behavior annoying. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, my other move would have been like, hey, yeah, sleep, fake sleep. So she goes to sleep. Okay. And maybe I that just, energy I, would always have her leave. Dude, I have its fear that they would kill me. That's why you fake sleep. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, you fake sleep. But not your back to us. So you put their body, cover your dick. You know, I'm a guy who will, all st- if I don't like them, I'll start with the spoon or whatever yeah. it is that they want and then pretend to be asleep and then turn over. Ooh, and be like, uh, give them a little bit, then take away. Uh, Dangerous. Dude. And then I'll be like, what? I was asleep. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not good at sleeping with people. Um, also, I hate your bitch ass. Yeah. Also, sorry. you're a fucking psycho. I hate you. <laughs> Um, and then I would have just, I would have from then on never seen her again. Right. You know, that's, right. that's not the energy, right? There. That's right. It's, it's, it's a sucker. It's a blood sucker. Yeah. Anyway, that was insane. And, um, that happened a long time ago and now it's just like, fuck me. Yeah. I still haven't got, learned from it. And this is, this is my I, life. Well, it's, it's all right. You're I, you know eventually. me, I'm, I'm the one way or the other. You're going to learn, I guess. You I'm, know? The, I'm the comeback kid. Literally. I come back. I'm the baby comeback kid. Every time. <laughs> It doesn't matter. Every time. Um, just be safe out here, boys. All you brown people, you know, who are fucking out there, just be careful, all right? These people are dangerous, and uh, don't, don't get locked into their energy. Be safe. Don't do it. Don't do it. That's our segment for that. We got Brown of the Week coming up. What's our Brown of the Week? We're talking about, are we talking about one interesting brown person that we've encountered either in the media or from history. Uh, it doesn't matter. Submit your own Brown of the Week, especially if you're a Patreon subscriber, and maybe we'll talk about them. Yeah. Give it to us. Uh, and don't say me, okay? We don't want to hear about you, dude. Today's Brown of the Week is a rather sinister situation, Very I have to say. Uh, this is about a guy in India, in Kerala, South mm. Indian guy, which you don't expect that from, from South Indians. You got, y'all are usually pretty chill. They're very literate. Suraj Kumar killed his wife. Hell yeah. I mean, not when? hell yeah, but I know, the, <laughs> I know the story already, so I, shit, that was insane. Not hell yeah. Killed his wife with a cobra. Yeah. We're out here using cobras like we're stereotypes, like it is, fucking it is, British stereotypes. It is what Rupert Murdoch thinks we do all day in India. You know? Look, before we get into the story, I will say I have been mugged by somebody who used yeah. a cobra in India. This I, did happen. Talk about this. This yeah. did happen. I was nine years old. This kid just came up to me. He's like, but yeah, but yeah. Mm. they just opened up the basket <laughs> and there was a fucking cobra. And I was like. Take all the money, bro. Dude, why is he still hanging out with the peasants? Go to like a governor and do the same thing. Like he's going <laughs> to do governor, anything different. The governor is a cobra. <laughs> you know, um, the first thing I thought when I saw this story was that it's the most Indian way to kill somebody in history. It truly is. The only way to be more Indian is if it was like, man kills wife by making her do SAT for three hours yep. every day until her hand explodes. It is a super Indian murder. It was. You know, here's the fucked up thing about it is that he killed her using a cobra while she was recovering from a snake yeah, bite. Another snake that bite. he had used before. Dude, this guy. Dude, snake bite me once. Yeah, I know. Venom in me. Venom, yeah. Snake bite me twice. Bro, a lot of venom, venom in me. Yeah, that's a lot of venom in her. <laughs> that is. But who is this half snake bitch? Like, what is up with this guy who doesn't know how to use a pillow? <laughs> yeah. You know? You yeah, just smother with a pillow, bro. Strangulation. You know what I'm saying? Also, I guess this woman was uh, genetically predisposed to like getting half bitten venom, by, yeah, <laughs> just like this, like this half serpentine creature. Her mom's a goddamn Komodo dragon or something. Oh my god! This is this is the shit in India that I can't stand. Uh, Suraj Kumar, go to hell. actually I last round of the week. Nothing to think about his name is also Kumar. Too many Kumars in India. It means prince. Yeah. Okay. Half these people are like Bloody, eating like fingernails. Rat, rat, yeah, you know. Um, <laughs> Suraj, this guy, this guy killed his wife like a fucker. No. Uh, also, because his parents didn't get enough dowry from the family. The, the whole thing is insane. Dude. It's shitty. Um, a lot of the old school people, are like in that in the rural area, dowry is everything, dude. Without dowry, you're not getting married. Exactly. Right. So this guy is pissed because I guess it was like two rupees instead of three. Like, how much more did you want? From it was a poor? bunch of gold, yeah. a motorcycle. Okay. It was like for like, it's like what you would get if you sign a deal with the Lakers or something. Sure, sure, you know what sure. I mean? It was like, that was the dowry. It was like, I want three gold chains. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I want a Yamaha. 
and uh, 750 grams of gold. Boom. Is done. this why like Indian jewelers are such good friends with like basketball players because they're just like they maybe. look like they're dowries. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, I think but the it, Jews probably got it on lock. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I think but it's such it, a shitty thing, dude. The dowry system. Here's the, such a deranged thing: is that these guys who are getting married are all fours. Yeah. The women are always at least sixes or above, and yet yeah. they have to pay over to the husband's family. Like it's a, the it's a long-standing tradition. It is. And it makes no sense because... Zero sense. Uh, I, I guess Uttara is her name. Uttara. Um, she wanted to get out of her situation, I guess. They, they were like a much poor family, so they fucking just saved up. And nobody in India even wants... A daughter anymore because I know. It's, uh, you well know, they never really did. Ever Nowadays, did. if anything, maybe they a little um, more. Yeah, but before you had to like fucking spend some money on a hoe. Yeah, you know. And I guess the, uh, this guy's not impressed with it. Yeah, and then just immediately starts snaking her. Like we're talking like day three. It's like day three, he like, <laughs> like threw a he like threw a viper at her or something, yeah, dude. You know, it was like the first date. She was like paying for the meal, yeah. and then looks back, and there's just a like, cobra. Co Whoa. You know, and this this woman, like, what do you do with this guy? What redeeming qualities can he have it's after the, the snake this thing? Is the, this is the problem is that this is actually a systemic issue in India. This is the problem. India is a fucking patriarchal as fuck sure. place, dude. Sure. There's no getting around it. And that's actually the big crime here is that there was, in a, there was a family that needed to get rid of a daughter and another family that was like, give us some gold. We want to extract as much as we can right. out of you. It's an economic thing because we're going to take on your daughter as our burden now. Right. Right. Which actually, they end up being a burden on her, right? She's right. forced to work and all that. It's a shitty system. It's a and, shitty system. That's the thing. I'm is, putting the system on trial hell right yeah, now. Dude. Brown of the week. Hey, hey, hey. Indian put, patriarchy. Put a, put a cobra to the system. You know what I'm saying, dude? Set a cobra on that. And that's the thing. It's like, dude, first of all, a cobra, uh, pretty chill creature in general. They don't attack humans unless they're very you much know? provoked. You have to be like, hey, you're fat. To, for a COVID to really be like get angry, <laughs> exactly. Hey, you're you're nobody likes you. You have no friends. <laughs> hey, you know, and, and then so this guy's this COVID like depressed or something, right? Yeah. And then sets him off his wife. First of all, three snake bites. I just want to interview this bitch. She's dead. I know, but she's she's gone. Now. It's it's like what? The, the, it's also a very patriarchal thing that we're that our brown of the week is the guy who killed her and not the wife. Or like, well, apparently he tried it three times. <laughs> yeah. This, this is just a brown of the week. It's a right. very brown situation yeah. is what it is. Yeah. Is is he he tried to just leave a viper on some steps. It was like, hey, babe, come downstairs. Of course, nothing happened because right. the guy's a fucking idiot. Right. And then he sedated her, used the same viper to da 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 da. Didn't kill her. She's recovering. He's like, God damn it. I guess I got to go buy another not. snake. Here we go. You could have just smothered her with a pillow, you Truly. fucking moron. Stupid, dude. Okay. Use the fucking cobra. Turn the cobra on yourself next time. Okay. Appropriate white culture a little bit. Yeah. Get a little cobra. Get a little pillow smothering. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. The, well, first of all, Oscar movies love that scene. The, the slow pillow. pillow smother. Just, <laughs> and they always show like the old man's legs. It's fucking intense, dude. It is. Every like the Oscar. Goes <laughs> and then that. Yeah. Very and then weird. It goes limp. It's very fucking weird, man. So, um, you know, I, I'm wondering if uh, fucking Yash Raj is going to option this film. And fucking, like, this is the new, you know, Oscar winning. It's like, the thing is, you, I get the feeling that this has to happen in India more than is reported. Right. right? I mean, I don't know. It's such a shitty. We were talking about Poulin Baby a little I'm, while I'm, back, I'm right? I'm wondering if there's like a uh, version of that guy in every country. Right. Man sets pangolin on wife <laughs> in Eastern China. <laughs> Saharan man said scorpion, scorpion on wife. On wife. There's like a jaded husband in every place that wants to Using use. Using the animal of choice. <laughs> but our white guys be stupid. If, white guy uses raccoon yeah. to if, kill. If we are living in a simulation, whoever's controlling it is racist as fuck. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Having Indians kill each other with cobras. It's wild. All right. It's wild. Dude, literally so insane. <laughs> I guess, I guess that, you know, the rich ones would use jaguars, you know, but like Cobra is a poor man's bullet. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Cobra is if majestic you're though. A beautiful creature, dude. Yeah. You know, um, Cobra Kai, one of my favorite karate uh, outfits, you know? <laughs> Brown card revoked, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't know shit about shit. But it's like these jaded husbands who I guess said a Cobra, not that it wouldn't be, it's even crazier when a woman is jaded because remember in China when the guy, uh, when the woman uh, found out that her husband was cheating with her sister, so he she cut off his penis. Right. And then he attached it somehow. Then she yeah. goes to the hospital, cuts it off again, throws it out the window. Ah, don't, no. <laughs> don't be fucking around. All right? You don't know your wife. You don't know if she's one of those penis you cutters. You have no idea. So don't you have be out no there. no idea. That's the thing with dicks. It's too easy to cut. 
these things are very easily it's true. Like it's true. Evolutionarily, very. I know, stupid. and yeah, we haven't been. I mean, I don't know. The, the circumcision, I guess that's a thing, right? But it's yeah, dicks are easier to cut. They're really vestigial organs for some of us. But yeah. like, <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> like this guy, yeah. Suraj Kumar. <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking over, dude. Listen, it's an insane story. Please don't uh, kill people. Um, and dowries is the stupidest thing yeah. I've ever heard. I, I mean, I, I get the idea of a dowry of where it came from in the ancient times. Why isn't it like in other countries, though, where like the woman's prize and the guy's family has to pay up some money? Doesn't, doesn't the guy's family, the guy's family doesn't even pay for the wedding, right? Even though the woman pays for the, the woman's yep. family pays for the wedding too. Yep. Jesus. No. I think Dude. maybe it's a joint thing. Actually. Joint thing. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Jesus. What was the original of Dowry? Why did Dowry even start? What the fuck was that? Mm, I think it was about like alliances. I think it stuff like that. I think it's about giving up somebody from your family. Sure. You know, into sure. another one. So why, why not the man gives money to the woman? Family? Right. That's what I'm saying. I know like in some African countries where they have dowry or they used to have dowry. Maybe they still do. It would be you have to go give them up a certain amount of livestock. Sure. And cattle. Sure. Sure. You know, if you want to, if you want to marry this woman, right? It's it's a transaction in that way. They have a lot of weird um, customs in that way. In Africa, they do a lot of things in like Mauritius, uh, where they fatten up a woman. They go take her to the desert, uh, and yeah. they just fat, Martania. feed her. Yeah. Martania, yeah. not Mauritius, and they feed her milk. Yeah, they, she, they they have like fat fattening huts, fat huts. Yeah, and this bitch is like becoming huge, uh, and she's like, one day I'm gonna fucking get a, <laughs> a Wall Street banker. You know, it's called the Biggest Winner. Is that their show? <laughs> How much weight can you gain? So true. <laughs> this woman in the beginning of the documentary is hot as fuck. By the end of the documentary, she looks like fucking Roseanne Barr. Oh, yeah. Like, no, it's, I know. It's, it's insane. Awful. It's insane. It goes from like skinny Oprah to fat Oprah. <laughs> it's wild. Anyway, Brown of the Week, locked in. Today's fucking topic. Uh, before we get to that, we, oh. got, we got some advice to dole out. Oh, yeah. This is a spicy one. This is from a Patreon subscriber. Who wants to remain anonymous. Okay. She's a woman, though. We've it's heard. a woman. Her name is KS, as we're going to go. That's actually, that's just what she requested that we should go yeah. by. Uh, I come from a relatively conservative Sikh Punjabi family. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I was a kid, I was always very close to a lot of my cousins, but I never really got to see them much because I lived in Canada and they lived in Punjab. Uh, recently... Uh, two months ago, I went back and, uh, for a family wedding and I met one of my cousins and we ended up hitting it off and we ended up hooking up. Okay. That's spicy as hell. Whoop. Okay. Yeah. I mean, hard. what are you trying to do? You get trying to get us this hard this soon. <sighs> Keep going. Uh, this was so wrong. I didn't even, it, it, he didn't even feel like family because I hadn't seen him in so long, but I know he was, <laughs> and I know my parents would freak out. I don't know what to do. <laughs> he didn't feel like family. He felt like a lover. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He didn't feel like family. <laughs> but he did feel me up. <laughs> K-S? More, more like... Tisk, tisk. More like tisk, tisk. More like tisk, tisk. Listen, I mean, we all got hot cousins. We all... I got I got, I got, got a cousin list right now in my head that I would... I, listen, I, I remember being a kid, and but I was like a very small kid and being like in love with one of my cousins. Bro. You know? that, so is she young, this person? Uh, Yeah. Right. I'm assuming she is. I shouldn't tell hooked me. Hooked up, like fucked. She just said hooked up. Yeah, fucked would be like. I mean, first of all, I mean, depends on how big your house is. Are you fucking in the master bedroom of your uncle? You know, that's an insane thing. Could have been it's inside hot. someone's turban. I mean, dude, I my know. brother married his cousin. You know, I'm there. And there yeah, first. That's Islamic Bangladesh. <laughs> You know? This is Punjab Sikh. I mean, there's a lot of honor stuff there. I don't you know. know. I mean, she was like, show me your scimitar. You know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking do this. Show me your cookery. <laughs> what are uh, your cast, huh? Yeah. Fight me. <laughs> you me. better have protection. Uh, <laughs> what do you do? I don't know. Are you fucking in love with this guy? Is that, is that you're in love with your cousin? You may be able to work something out. That's the first cousin, though. Listen, man. If, if you have a kid, just if it has three arms, we all know what happened. You know, that's the easiest mystery to solve. You're divine. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like, eh. you know, I got to see the cousin. Is the cousin hot enough to fuck and, and ruin maybe I religious? think that that's already over with. He obviously is to her. He's but it's like, is he hot enough to destroy a family tree? 
I mean, yeah, it, it to, is C four to remove family, all just, the branches you know, from the family tree. That tree just got its own. It just got. It, it's gonna look like Stephen Hawking now. You know, that it's gonna curl around. A lot of knots in that tree. <laughs> like no, as in no. Stop doing that. Yeah, not. Please do not do that. Um, <laughs> I'm saying, dude. I, uh, as, as a guy who wants to fuck his own cousin. I mean, look. I don't. You have feelings for this fucking cousin now. Look, this is the age of fucking Instagram, and I mm. mean, you must have. I, you could keep in touch with him, I guess. It's like there's gonna be. I mean, they, they could make one of those TikToks. They said it was not okay because he was my cousin. But then that's I realized true. maybe you can get a bunch of TikTok followers off of this. That's what I'm saying TikTok loves it when you're racist, violent, yeah. and incest, incestual, incestuous. Yeah. So you could get a TikTok following Dude, out of this. You'll see those. The girls like, yeah, my grandmother killed my own mother. It's like, what yeah. the fuck is this? Yeah, I would say in general, stop. Yeah, I wouldn't do this anymore. It's a healthy thing, dude. Get your nut and bounce. Yeah, I mean, you left. You're not there anymore. So I don't really see the urgency here. You know, just d- stay out of touch. Go date somebody. Date Wait, somebody you, way. Ghost your cousin? Yeah, ghost your cousin okay. for now. Okay. I would. Go date a white guy named Brad. Okay? Todd, do that? Yeah. Holy shit. You know, that's the only way you can really detox from that kind of experience. <laughs> I just think that if if they fuck, I'm, I'm with it. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it is, I guess maybe I'm, I'm too close to it. My brother married his cousin. Yeah. And he's yeah, chill with it. That's true. You know, and I, they're not, they're not like um, mongoloids, you know? Who, I, my, my thing is that she obviously feels some kind of way about it. Cause she wrote into us. Right. You know, you know, so she's, uh, I, it, it, Usama says, <laughs> go with it. Go with the feeling. Go and go with God. Go fuck Bupinda or whatever your cousin's name is. Go back there, marry him. If, if I don't know if cousin marriage hey, is okay hey, in your family. Bump in there, but really bump in there. Bump in there. <laughs> you bump know? and grind in there. <laughs> fuck in there. Go for it. Cam. Change his name to fuck in there. Okay. My advice is you don't seem totally at peace with yourself right now. Yeah. Uh, I would uh, block him on all social media, like all any chaotic ho would. Okay. I always wonder with with Punjabi pubes, it's like you can't cut any hair. So does yeah. that apply to everything? Yeah, I don't know. I want, I'm I'm curious what you look like, KS. Now I bet you you've got like a little bit of yeah. You're like probably chaotic. You probably got like face tattoos or some shit too. <laughs> Who's just like I wanted to do this because I wanted to be nasty. Can't wait. I'm gonna can't write wait. in a mango bay about She's it. She's like going on the plane. I'm gonna fuck a cousin this yeah, week. I'm gonna fuck a cousin Spring this fucking week. Break. I'm fucking do it. <laughs> yeah. Holy um, shit. It's, it's always a weird thing. You know, India and Bangladesh or Pakistan have a little bit more of that. It's happened before. There's a bit more, and the culture is not as bad. Um, hey, Gandhi didn't fuck his niece. Hello. Call back. Don't, uh, don't you dare. But he wanted to. He didn't even want he to. He totally wanted to, dude. You don't think Gandhi had a boner on that bed? Okay, we're done with this. We got to move on. Okay, we can't go into this right now. Boner Charya? Didn't have, he didn't have the nutrition to have a boner. All those hunger strikes and this and that. Or he could not have a boner. Like it was his body was in <laughs> shock and it just could not unboner itself. Anyway, listen, uh, I, I he's saying don't do it. I say um, lick that dick. You need to block him on all platforms and never talk to him again until you have grandchildren. You need to block him and then unblock your pantyhose. Yeah. Okay, that's what I. that's what I'm saying. Conflicting advice here. <laughs> um, you know, you already listened to my advice you, once Bay, before. Bay, yeah, Bay, you, you, that's you, how you got you into this You already retroactively mess. listened to me before. I'm just giving you the same advice, honey. Hey, cut that. I'll buy your ticket to Karachi. How about that? <laughs> Keep it going with the balle balle, okay? <laughs> balle dim, balle. Dim, dim, sister, Yo, rock me, mister. Fuck him again. Bring a doll guy. She's the doll. He's the guy. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All okay. right. She's papu. He's sane. You know? Uh, that's our advice for you, KS. Good luck out there. If you learned, if you got anything. I mean, all, yeah. all you got was confusion and uh, <laughs> maybe a hard on? Yeah. Hey, I'll be your cousin. Call me. Bupinder. I mean, are you royalty or something? Like, they, maybe then it's okay. I don't know. Okay. I'm not here to judge. Just don't. <laughs> no. And then do. Yeah. And then do. Uh, that's our advice for the week. Um, Topic. Let's get, get indoor topic. So uh, a couple of weeks ago, we were talking some shit about Veer Das, yeah. Indian comedian, because uh, he was being a little bitch, basically. He's not, mm. he's not, not funny and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but, you know, he's an Indian guy representing India, yeah. right? And we're here, Indian Americans, NRIs, or Indian Bangladeshis, BRI, NRBs, whatever you call them, uh, critiquing them. So it begs the question, well, what is our actual relationship to are these actual places? Am I Indian? Are you Bangladeshi? 
people always say that we can't um, talk to them. I say, fuck you. Or like, talk about them. Yeah, you, you're weird, so I'm going to say weird things about you. Mm -hmm. You can't do it. You left, you left the country, bro. What? Right. Like, you know, you're still weird, and I'm still going to joke, right? They have this weird thing with the ownership of India because they live there. Or, you know, it's, all, it's our India. But y'all also have, we, we have problems that y'all don't have and y'all wouldn't begin to understand either. So it's we're all the, like the idea of, of being brown in a predominantly white area. It's true. Like the other day, I went to the coffee shop and they didn't have oat milk and I had to use dude, almond milk. Dude, preach. I'm fucking kill myself. Preach again, dude. I'm like, uh, I had to go on medication and, because And y'all, y'all, first of all, y'all can fuck your cousins. Everyone's there, right? That's, that's, we haven't even mentioned that. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you guys get to fuck your cousin. I wasn't allowed to bang my cousin growing so, up. So, anyway, so oat milk and no cousins? Look, I, I don't know. I think there is a, a boundary there because I am not Indian. You are not Bangladeshi. You're not, right? You are Bangladeshi American. Sure. I am Indian American. And we are very removed from the realities of living in these places, right? Y okay. My whole thing is like, I think be, it doesn't mean that I can't comment or that you can't comment. I just think our comments need to be taken with a grain of salt because we don't actually live there and we don't actually experience the subjective realities of being on the sure, ground. Sure, but places. I don't think we're ever saying shit that is assuming of them. You know what I'm saying? Right. We're always basing it on the humanity of themselves at the present state. Yeah. So if they're say they're DMing us mm -hmm. like, hey, bro, this is bad for Islam. Right. We're shitting on that. We're not right. shitting on, oh, you fucking grew up in Bangladesh, you fucking idiot fuck. Right. Of course you not. You see what I'm saying? Never that. So there's a difference Never in that. the line. Right. But you know how much of our energy is comes from being from very privileged American kind of liberally backgrounds, right? I think we have a tendency here, and this is a tendency I notice among a lot of NRIs, is they will really just basically project American style of unperceiving the world and, and, and perceiving politics sure, sure. and perceiving all those things. And they will slap it onto India. They'll slap it onto Bangladesh. They'll slap that it onto Pakistan. You, that's, that's dumb. It's just like there, there is, there's, you have no real relevance to what's happening there. You just want to project your own kinds of political anim animism. Like you'll see that right? also. Like, like basically the, when, you know, I don't when the Punjabi animus, farmer, uh, Punjabi farmer protest, you know, happened. It's a bunch of, People who had no concept of the thing. Just right. Like, it's not okay to hate poor people. Right, right, It's like, right. what did you even look at any of the bills or anything? I mean, that was a tricky thing because I honestly didn't, I didn't know anything about I the, stay the out agriculture of it. I there. Stay out so of it. We, st we stayed out of that, right? Like, we're, smart. I can't, we're smart like that. Yeah. We know what battles to pick. It's like, we don't, we're not experts <laughs> in, in, in Indian agricultural policy <laughs> yeah. and, you know, the Indian also, economy. What, a Punjabi one at that. Notoriously of the best fighters in India. Yeah. You know, yeah. let's just poke the fucking beast. Yeah, so I couldn't do that, but everyone here is just like, <laughs> no, support, duh. And I'm just like, But then Rihanna chill. was like, they got to fucking work, work, I know. work, I work, mean, work. Well, the thing was, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Give them some <laughs> umbrellas. <laughs> and the Indian government was all Chris Brown on them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yes. like, yes. But like, it, the thing about it is like, I don't know enough about it, so I didn't really want to comment. But I feel like NRIs here and Indians here and Bangladesh, Pakistanis here, were in the moment of BLM in this country. So they're like, hey, this is our time where we can have our own BLM, and it's farmers. I'm like, listen, you would never survive a day with any of these farmers. Oh my okay, God, they will dude. stone you to death. First of all, they hate women. Yeah, <laughs> just, just in general. <laughs> yeah, cast all the shit that you hate <laughs> yeah, yeah. about India. It's all there with these people. Every flashback in a Hindu movie is a flashback in Punjab yeah. where there's genocide happening. I don't know if you know that. It's like an yeah. all, it's very tough place. Again, not making a comment on the claims of the farmers <laughs> yeah. or anything like that. I'm it's just, just saying. It's out here. It's just like you're you're really like you're you're defining your the meaning of your life through struggle. Yeah. And thus you're trying to find something to grasp at. And so now all of a sudden you're a farmer's activist or you're this activist or you're that activist when you're totally full of shit. Hey, actually. Hey, I've been to your place. As I was banging you, I saw a dead plant on the windowsill. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? You don't know how to fix one plant. You're going to farmer now? You're a farmer now. Huh? Exactly. These guys, these guys who are farmers in India, these are fucking lifers, man. They're like I in the motherfucking thick. They look down on Punjabis here because these guys were like some of the more like uppity. I asked, uh, you know, some Punjabis like how they are viewed. It's like, yo, they don't even like the Americans because they like kind of fucked off from the work ethic of it. So Punjab, especially the Indian side, is very much like about the right. work. You fucking. Right hit that yeah. and you till the field and you earn your shit and these Americans who just kind of fucked off were just like, I don't want to do it. You're a pussy, pussy basically. Yeah. Pussy vibe. Right. So, you, don't, I don't know what they thought of when they saw a tweet being like, yeah, fucking Baldeep. Keep going, Baldeep. I, I don't know. That's why we didn't do anything because we, for all the uh, idiocy we spout, 
it's never back, not backed up. It's got. I, I will. I will say that's true. You know dude. what I'm saying? Yeah, we're not. We're not here talking about shit that we don't know <laughs> no much about. about you, know? you know, we'll never go into depth about. That's why we talk so much about comedy because it's a thing that we know a lot about. And if we if we do talk about something we don't know, we're just doing jokes about we're, it. It's always. But jokes. it's never like, oh, this is the take. Yeah, exactly. Here's our take because. That's the thing. Bro, like we're not the discourse guys for you in this way. You know, we will tell you, we will say very smart things, but we will not sit there and be like, well, this is the actual truth of what's happening in this place that's a 10,000 miles away from us. No, time to unravel the turban. Yeah. (laughs) With with Usama and Perna. (laughs) Time to skin the mule. Yeah. I, I, I just think it's ridiculous. My favorite thing is Brahmins in America. Who are just like they got a lot going on. They got a, they have they have like <laughs> weird white Brahmin guilt. Yes, and I had no clue. I had no honestly conception of caste growing up. I really didn't. I'm like I'm 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 from well, I guess what would be considered an upper caste. It's not a Shatri or a Brahmin or anything. It's like a, some weird hybrid caste, right? But it's not an under caste. Basically. Okay. Yeah, right? my friend goes to a different caste. Uh, yeah. I really <laughs> my, my girlfriend goes to a different caste. I used to have a great. I think it's great. <laughs> cast joke where I was like uh, what cast are you girl because you're looking mad touchable ah! um, I love it I love it which is pretty gnarly people <laughs> people usually wince and groan when they hear that one I think it's the funniest thing ever it's great it's so good it's great um, well, go even harder you know where are you from girl because I want to Raj put my dick in your fucking pussy huh um <laughs> Hey, I, I want to be brum in that. Yeah, I want to be all up in that. Um, <laughs> I want to be all brum in that. So, but like, I'll see like weird. I have I have like a bunch of Brahmin friends. They're all South Indian Brahmins there, and they're all just like, you know. And of course, the caste system has to be dismantled. Don't get me wrong. Sure. And this is, but they're just like they go so hard about it. Yeah. I'm like, this is like some weird fucked up guilt. I, I know some Brahmins, dude. and you're just perpetuating yeah. the caste system yeah. by not nonstop talking about caste. That's the that? thing. Well, also, you know, the top people of the caste system are benefited by it, so why not keep it alive kind of thing? Right. Right? I had Brahmin friends, and I had fucking Brahmin friends who were intense, dude. And mm-hmm. I go to their house, and I feel the Brahminness of it. I didn't uh-huh. know what feeling it was when I was right. a kid. Meaning they were, like, proud to be Brahmin. Proud to be Brahmin. And I look back, and it was a lot of, uh, you know, Brahminness. Right. The mom was a, a Bharat Natyam teacher. Right. The dad uh, killed Muslims professionally, you know. It was a whole thing. Yeah. And his name was Shri, and I loved the guy, but yeah. I walked in. Bro, you knew you know that fucking every time I walked into his house, that sound of the beginning of a Hindi song, wow, the tuning, the tuning, <laughs> the of, tuning of the it would always be the no, I'd always walk in. That's a, <laughs> some sitar ass tuning track. No, no, no. I'm like, dude, am I walking into a fucking fever dream? Well, why is there a wisp of smoke randomly <laughs> yeah, appearing? What? It's diagonal. Yeah, yeah, it's always diagonal with these fucks, you know. <laughs> and then my my six year old friend. Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready to play GameCube? It was crazy, right? Dude, I brought it. Here's my, I, I, I know some guys who are like this. and I love the guy, I, by the way. I just want to say I love him. I remember this one guy uh, we were talking to in a group chat. He's a Brahmin, apparently. And he comes in hot on the group chat. He's like, God damn it. And we're like, what, what's up? He said, I broke my Yagnopavitram. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> Apparently, this is a thread that Brahmins wear across their chest. He's like, my, my Yagnopa Vritram. I was like, are you flirting with us? <laughs> oh, dear Lord. My Yagnopa Vritram snapped. Oh, goodness. Dude. I feel so exposed in <laughs> oh, here. Dear. Oh, I hope dear nobody me. sees my bosom without my Yagnopa Vritram. Dude, he got angry again when he was trying to text Yagnopa yeah, You know what I'm exactly. saying? The second anger happened. Second wave. You can tell he texted enough that it's embedded in the T9 and the predictive text on Dude, his phone. So, so the, the God corrects, like, did you mean Yagnopa <laughs> yeah. uh, Anybody? That's hilarious. <laughs> like, are you, you fucking flirting? Like, what do you mean? It snapped. Oh, it kind of, sounds kind of sexual. Like, really what the hot. fuck do you want us to do That's about it? Shut really the fuck hot. up. Yo, put the butter butter bit of under put the. It's definitely some like Brahmin cast themed porn. Right. Shivani, but with Yanapapavitrams. Yeah, Yagnopavitrams snaps. Yagnopavitram snaps. When the sacred thread comes undone. Time to defy. Time to defile. Time but to desecrate. It's just like, so getting back to it, it's like, I don't like the energy of basically Indians. It's a, it's a very white thing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at the Yenopa Vitram. It's, it's hilarious. It's so dumb. <laughs> Guys! My Yenopa Vitram! He was like, God damn it. <laughs> and my Yenopa Vitram broke. He just keeps getting more and more intense with it. And That's we're like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> no, we're not Brahmins, dude. We don't know anything about that. But there's no struggle we can relate to. It sounds like you want us to fuck you right now. 
over a group chat. It's like he's it was like, it's like he's a white guy. He's like, guys, my XDLRF stock. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what? Nobody has that stock, dude. It's the same thing. It's like their thing. It's their thing. <laughs> yeah. But on the other flip side of that is the is the is the very white Brahmins who are like, we're the we're the worst. Da, da, da. It's like just 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 don't be a Brahmin, dude. Just stop paying attention to it. You don't have to be a Brahmin. It, 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 it's it's uh, you know across religious lines, but it's all class again. You know. Yeah. The the Muslims who are rich in our neighborhood yeah. uh, were the ones who were very much like. Like, you know, heavy in the Muslim in a way that was almost like a luxurious way to be like, oh, we have the money to to uh, show you how Muslim we are. Right. Very visible. Right. A lot of lavish things uh, during Ramadan yeah. and during Eid. Yeah, yeah, Look yeah. how Muslim we are. Look right, how much we right. give during Islam. They're using the Islam as a vehicle for, for to show own, off their wealth. Their own class. Yeah. yeah their own yeah, pro- propagation of their own class. It's an expression of their class. It's yeah, retarded. Yeah. Ah, Jesus Christ. We got to stop saying that for everything. But it is. And, uh, you know, the kids are all like, you know, very rich and fucking, they live in this beautiful house and, you know, there's, there's like a date dispenser, you know, yeah. you fucking put your hand in a date comes yeah, out. Yeah, it's yeah. fucking all very exciting. That's insane. <laughs> you know? That's insane. So crazy, right? <laughs> a date dispenser. dispenser. <laughs> you know, it's fucking crazy, right? Put your hand in there. There's like a out. toilet paper style roll, but it's rugs, <laughs> prayer rugs, and yeah. they're just disposable. You know, you're about to, you know, it's a crazy thing, right? <laughs> disposable prayer towel rugs, Right. <laughs> And it was just like, you know, the same kind of thing where it's like, we do this right. We want to keep this together. Yeah. This is Islam. This is how we're doing it. Yeah. And it's it's not anything that's servicing their own hometown or their own home country. Right. They're just servicing their own whiteness, really, yeah. and their own richness and their yep. own class. Yep, yep, yep. That's the problem, I think, what happens in America is that mo- Indians who come here, or Bengalis who come here, they believe themselves a lot of times to be better because yeah. they made it on a ship right. or a plane. Right. All right. You sat in 27C, so now you're better. Mm-hmm. Uh, that really does play a lot of factor in like how a lot of Indians. And You're in boarding group us. A, aka a Brahmin. A Brahmin. Okay. Boarding group. Shitting on boarding group eight. <laughs> yeah, bitch. Not for long, motherfucker. <laughs> I, I here in, in closing, I just think it's like people are culture first, human second. And that's dumb. First, think human first, and then everything else yeah. comes to be. Yeah. If you're human first, people will gravitate towards you based on humanity. If you're culture first, you're gonna come up against some person who's like. Well, it's always performative. Yeah. It's, it's you know? Because culture is not something that's static. Culture is something that just continues to evolve. Your ideas are, are, losing, are losing water. It's called quickly. culture. It belongs in a Petri dish. You should hey, call yeah. it bacteria. Boom. You know? Hey, yeah. And you, but you're being, you're being salmonella to your fucking yeah. own culture, bro. Right? For real. All right? For real, for real. But we're really salmonella because we're fucking raw, bitch. We truly are. Hell we're yeah, some fi- We're some fucking day-old egg yolk. Dude, if you touch me, counter. you're going to fucking get sick, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> rough. That's because I'm diseased. I'm going to give you some diarrhea. <laughs> my, generally, okay. I have other diseases as well. But <laughs> <laughs> metaphorically as well, though. <laughs> Listen, dude. It's all... It's all... We, you, we always get it. You've got it from day one. That's why we're bros. Yeah. You know, it's, it's fucking very simple. Exactly. We're trying to tell you all right now. Stop thinking like culture is a static idea that you have dominion over. It's so stupid. Yeah. All right. Truly. Fucking build something of your own. Stop being a gatekeeping twat. Don't okay. coattail your own culture. Fucking be your exactly. own. Exactly. Don't coattail and don't gatekeep. Boom. Boom. There it is. It's fucking done. That was, that was it. That was it. This has been Mango Bay. Bro. Uh, remember to subscribe to us on Patreon. Apple, Apple Podcast. Please write us a review. YouTube, Spotify. We need you across platforms. We love you guys. Thank you. Come again. Peace. Oh, dude. Your mango, ah, bitch. Hey.